Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Alright. This one is by Almanac Beer Company. And it's called Loud Hazy Dippa. Double IPA. And uh, this says, Hazy Double India Pale Ale Dry Hop with Mosaic, Cashmere, and Simcoe. And uh, this puppy comes in at 8% um, alcohol by volume. It says dank, tropical, and smooth. Has some literature here. It says um, loud is obnoxiously dry hopped with our loudest hops and screams with juicy tropical notes of mango, pineapple, and pine with a <clears throat> lusciously smooth mouthfeel. Hops, mosaic, cashmere, simcoe malt, pilsner, wheat, barley, and oats. And this is uh, about... Oh, freaking three and a half months old. God, they got me again. I, I, I gotta remember to check the damn date on these dumb beers. <clears throat> it should be all right, but I'm, I'm sure it'd be better if it was a month and a half old. So, my bad. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it the way I get it. So, that's what the can looks like. I got it at Total Wine more for like five bucks for an old beer. Oh, well, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. I mean, Almanac makes pretty awesome beers, um, so we'll see if this one held up three and a half months. I like to get my beers less than two months old, ideally, but, uh, you know, you can't always, well, you can, actually, if you remember to check the date, like I forgot to do. All right. These guys are from... Alameda, California. <clears throat> Again, that's what the can looks like. Okay. So we have a medium, foamy, frothy, silky head. Not really creamy. And we have a light hazy. Some particulates floating around in there. Yep. Pretty hazy. A lot of particulates in there. Hmm. Alright. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, I'm getting like um, citrusy hop notes right up front. Like kind of grapefruity. Orange. Lemon zest. No mango or something like that. Maybe even a little pininess. Maybe some floralness. Smells pretty good. Cheers. First beer of the day. That still tastes, tastes pretty darn, darn good. The head went pretty rocky. For a three and a half month old beer, it tastes pretty good still. Taste follows the aroma so far. Mm, that's pretty damn good. I'll be honest, man. At first, I was a little, you know, yeah, whatever with the Almanac beers. Because it, all their beers, like, kind of had this grapefruit kind of note, like, dominating all their beers. They all were kind of similar tasting. But actually, I kind of, this, their beers have grown on me substantially the more I've tried them, and uh, I really like their beers. They're very good. 
This one's uh, very good. Mmm, that is yummy. Lots of citrusy notes and tropical. Um, yeah, like uh, kind of grapefruit orange, um, some maybe some mango. It's nothing really defined, but it's it's pretty complex. It's got a medium mouthfeel, no booziness, no raw alcohol notes. Pretty darn tasty. <sighs> yeah, I like it. It's very good, but if I get it fresher though, it'd be even better, I'm sure. But I like it. Uh, loud hazy. Double IPA, pretty damn good. Let's uh, swill it and take another hit here. Cheers. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a kind of a sweet maltiness coming through also. Very nice to drink. It's refreshing. It's got a nice little zestiness to it like I like. Uh, this is a very tasty beer. 8%. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Uh, dank, yeah. Tropical, yeah. Smooth, yes. But if I can get it fresher, it'd probably be danker. So that's probably my fault for not checking the uh, date and grabbing it anyways. Nice lacing on the glass there. Very tasty, but I could tell that was probably better a month or two ago. So, um, Pretty good, a lot of dominating flavor on this, probably grapefruit as usual, like their other beers. But there's a lot of other uh, citrusy tropical type notes going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll swill it one more time, we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, so on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this a 4.4. It's right in there. It's pretty darn good. Uh, it's not the best one I've had by them, but it's pretty close. I'd like to get this fresher, actually, though. Really nice. Super easy to drink for 8%er. So 4.4 it is. That's my story. I'm going to stick with that. Please hit like and subscribe. That would be totally awesome. I'd appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by, checking out the video, and uh, we'll have another one here in the future for you. Horns up on this beer. All right, catch y'all later. See ya.